Stefan Entien eats a very meaty veggie burger. Solar Impulse 2 completes a round the world flight. The CEO of eHarmony steps down and more. It's Tuesday, July 26th, and this is Crunch Report. Welcome to the Crunch Report. Hope you're all having a fine Tuesday. Today, we had some downs and some ups, but I'm a cup half full type of guy, so it's a good day. Tech news. Hamburgers, they're delicious. People are working on plant-derived burgers that mimic the real thing, and our very own Stefan Entian got to go and try a burger cooked by Momofuku's David Chang. He really liked it and wrote up all his thoughts on it. Bow chicka wow wow. Oh yeah. Read his in-depth tasting on it, because it's fun. Today, Halo, a car hailing service, is announcing that it has sold 60% of its company to Mercedes-Benz owner Daimler. And Halo will merge its and rebrand its operations under MyTaxi, another on-demand ride-sharing company that was acquired by Daimler's subsidiary Movil in 2014. The merged companies will become one of the biggest car hailing companies in Europe. Scale that could help it compete against players like Uber, which has been aggressive in its European expansion. So just for the record, Daimler is invested in MyTaxi, Toyota invested in Uber, GM invested in Lyft, and VW has invested in Get. Everyone's placing bets on their horses. You guys all know Dr. Neil Clark Warren of eHarmony, the star of all the dating platforms TV commercials. Well, he is also the CEO of the company, or now was the CEO. Warren is finally resigning as CEO, though maintaining his position as chairman of the board. His replacement brand marketing VP, Grant Langston, will be stepping up to the helm. Langston joined eHarmony in 2000 as a writer and editor, prepping to launch the original site. Before that, he spent 10 years in advertising and music marketing. This change comes at a time when eHarmony is venturing into verticals beyond dating, like the launch of a new employee matching product, Elevated Careers, which is projected to account for 60% of the company's revenue in three years' time. Four continents, 24,800 miles, and more than 500 days later, Bertrand Picard and Andre Borschberg are back where they started. The pair of Swiss pilots completed their round-the-world tour in the Solar Impulse 2 today, landing in Abu Dhabi early this morning. The multiple record-breaking trip was completed without any fuel, trading off flying duties for the journey, which lasted a total of 17 legs, the final taking off from Cairo over the weekend. They traveled at an average speed of 46 miles per hour. I have so many questions. What did they talk about for 500 days? Did they get sick of each other? Did they binge watch Netflix? How did they poop? I really want to know that. On their quarterly earnings call this morning, self-driving automotive technology company Mobileye announced that Mobileye's work with Tesla will not extend beyond IQ3, the processor currently used in Tesla vehicles to provide the image analysis intelligence that enables Tesla's driver-assisted autonomous tech. An analyst questioned Shashua on the call regarding who initiated the separation, but the CTO declined to offer any additional clarity beyond the original statements, simply reiterating that Mobileye decided not to proceed. Mobileye also said on the call that Tesla's business is not material to its bottom line in terms of a percentage of overall revenue. That's the report for today. I'm Tito Hamzy. Crunch Report airs every weekday at 7 p.m. Eastern, 4 p.m. Pacific on TechCrunch.com. You can also find us on iTunes and on YouTube. See you tomorrow.